He was born healthy and beautiful, big boy, gorgeous. I remember he was going to be turning five, and just a few weeks before that, um, he was limping around. From that point on his birthday, for about six weeks, was this back and forth to the doctor. And at this point, it gotten so bad, he wasn't even walking. And it's kind of all a blur. The next thing I really remember is um, him having to get that biopsy done and being in the hallway and being told it was malignant. And he was five, stage four, large tumor. It was scary. My mother worked for the Board of Equalization, and she was like, they do blood drives. Maybe they could do one for Kenji. Um, and that was huge. If I were to see some of those people that were, gave blood for Kenji, I, obviously I would just, I'd want to give them all a big hug. We had great nurses that would say, okay, Kenji, um, what kind of blood do you want today? And his, he had a lot of stories about, I want Shark Boy blood, or he wanted blood that was from Superman. And that would just, and energize him, you know, he'd want, he'd want to get the blood, you know, and sometimes they'd even put like little, they'd label it like shark boy blood. He'd think he was getting something really special. I mean, that blood gave him um, his energy back. I mean, it helped his body to kind of get a kickstart again. Kenji is amazing. I will say, I mean, through this whole journey, he's, he's been a champ. When Kenji was getting blood, I mean, it just kind of gives them um, a jump start. It helps them, um, I think it's scary to think about what would happen if you didn't get it. You know, I think that's what, um, if there wasn't blood, I mean, I think, whew, that, <laughs> what would happen? I'd, I guess we just take it for granted, don't we? That it's just gonna be there. If someone didn't wanna give blood, because of the fear of needles or fainting, I'd say, come on. <laughs> um, honestly, I'd say, um, give me a break. <laughs> Man up. <laughs>